Hello everyone. Uh, let's quickly start with uh, one of the quick tutorial and one of the technique that I would like to teach you. And I think there's still a little bit confusion with many students. So I have to get rid of that confusion. So let's start with the <clears throat> with the circuit. This is the circuit one in the, of the lab. So one of, uh, one of the things that we have to note, we have to make a difference between the voltage across the component and the voltage of the net or the node voltage. So these are the two different voltages that we have to make sure that we completely understand. So when I say, uh, when we do the, the operating point simulation, which is dot OP, when we are doing this operating point simulation, you have to remember that this dot OP, this operating point simulation will give us the voltages. Oh, there is VN001 which tells me that this is not connected so i'll just quickly connect this one all right i'll run the simulation again and okay this is vr54 so these are the these are the node voltages that we're getting so vr67 is the voltage of this node all right this doesn't give us any information about the voltage across this resistor or the voltage across this resistor but it does tells us that this is the voltage across these two resistors because in operating point analysis the voltages are always given from uh, the voltages are mentioned as the branch voltages the node voltages in reference to the ground so right now this vr67 which is this branch voltage or this net voltage this is 0 0.373 volt or 373 millivolt in reference to the ground and then this the next voltage vs65 is the voltage of this branch in reference to the ground so this is giving us the voltage of these components which are connected to the ground but they give no information across the voltage the, the voltage across the component itself for example this component and this component and this component we have no information of the, these voltages one way is to find manually where we, where we will we will know that we are seven which is this volt two and VR67, which is this volt. So we can know that there's a voltage across this point, which could be 1.7, something like 1.7 volt. Similarly, we know the voltage of this point and we know the voltage of this point. Taking a difference will tell us the voltage across this component, but there has to be an efficient way. So one of the, the, uh, the efficient way is when we are running a transient simulation, simulation uh, uh then there's an efficient way to find it instead of doing it manually before that let me just quickly uh <clears throat> tell you uh just by double once you have run the simulation all you have to do is to double click a branch to know the voltage across that that branch or that net so let me just quickly move the 65 a little bit here okay so now if i just double click this branch it tells me the voltage across uh, oh, uh, voltage of this branch and then the voltage of double clicking okay double clicking let me quickly move this vr54 here all right oh no doesn't go, go, look good so f7 let me bring it here and then double let me double click here okay this is the branch these are the branch voltages when i know these branch voltages i can quickly find the voltage across this component <clears throat> another way of doing this is just you, when you go here come come over the branches right click place dot op data label this is what you do and actually it tells you that it's two volts all right this which is the branch voltage of this this branch voltage or the quick method is just double clicking will give you the the dot op the op data but <clears throat> the, the another efficient i mean another way of finding it through the simulation is actually running the running the tra uh, transient simulation so s dot tran one that's the transit simulation <clears throat> i'll run the transit simulation this has to go big okay now if i'm trying to find the voltage of this branch which is two volts and as you see it's two volts and as so this this branch is two volt and this is 373 millivolts so it tells us that the voltage across r7 is around 1.7 volt right 1.6 1.7 to find out that voltage, I'll bring my probe here. We'll hit the left mouse button and bring the probe towards the other point where, I mean, who's, where the voltage we would like to find out. Here, I'll hit it here and it gives us 1.65 something, 1.63 something like that. 
which is the voltage of the, uh, across this component. Similarly, the voltage across these two components. The voltage of the R6 is green one, which is 200. And uh, to quickly find out, I can see it's uh, 265 millivolts. <clears throat> right, this is the way to find the voltage across the component. Similarly, the voltage across these two components is this. The voltage across this component is exactly the same as the voltage across this point because when we are measuring the voltage of this one, it is actually the voltage of this branch in reference to the ground. So there is no need to do this for this component. There is no need to do this maneuver for this component. You just take that branch voltage and that this branch voltage is actually the voltage across this component. I hope this clarifies the difference between the voltage across the component and the voltage, the node voltages. <clears throat> Thank you very much.